Tough angle there. I'm not sure if that went on five or not. Yeah, if that's under two minutes, that definitely goes to review. Ivy turns it over again. Oh, what a pass. Walker in transition for three. What a pass by A.J. Hogard. Reading that defense in training. 15 pounds out of the brim here. Oh, no way! Bingham reached. Now through Marvel, and it's tipped away toward the backcourt by Hunter, who was claiming he didn't get a hand on it. Gabe Brown got it for three, and that's a great sign. He was three for his lap on the roller, and Gabe Brown the beneficiary. Today's starting lineup brought to you by Prudential, the familiar lineup for Purdue, including Zach Eady, who just rolled it out. And now the transition game so important to Tom Izzo. Christie using the strength for a 5-0 lead. Classic. Purdue such an effective three-point shooting team, one of the best they've ever had in West Lafayette, second in the country from three, as Edie barrels his way in for two. He just put that. Brown again, same spot, missed that one, and the rebound, Stefanovic. Purdue has three games left. If they win them all, they're Big Ten champions. Eric Hunter diving in, got bodied, and still scores. Julius Marvel, all starts to come together. You end up making it, but you pass up an open one and make a tough one. Now, he needs to be aggressive. The two games prior to Iowa, he takes seven shots in two games, and we talked about it in Iowa City. It's like you can't even tell. You haven't even taken your temperature to see if you're shooting well. You've got to get more shots up to that. Got one for seven of those two games prior. Edie filling up his own stat sheet. Stefanovic wanted the foul for him moments before it got whistled. Lineup construction. Hogarth tips in, Edie clears the rebound or so, and now Michigan State takes it back. Brown, 4-3, his second. Sacha Stefanovic making the Cardinal sit down a great one. We talked about it yesterday. If a couple go down early for Gabe Brown, it's a different Michigan State team. Oh, Hogarth is right in his pocket. Ball. That's really good defense by A.J. Hogarth getting into Jaden Ivey. Isaiah Thompson as well. Stefanovic missed the three. Rebound for Williams. That's going to be the game right there for Michigan State. Can you keep Purdue, who's the best offensive rebounding team in conference play, off the offensive glass? Right there, the answer is no. Ends up being kicked down. Tyson Walker, no idea where the ball is. And Jaden Ivey just rises right up. Take that A minus. Great screen that has been pretty well maligned defensively. And you know what? That's been an area where they've struggled in post trap and then even in situations where they've got to rotate. They have not been great at finding people. Good hands right there by AJ Hogard. He brings this down to his left hip. You give Hogard the opportunity to stay in that play. And boy, tough from that replay to tell. We'll see here. Tough, tough angle there. I'm not sure if that went on five or not. Yeah, if that's under two minutes. That definitely goes to review. Ivy turns it over again. Oh, what a pass. Walker in transition for three. Oh, what a pass by A.J. Hogard. Reading that defense in transit. Ball. Martin stayed right with it. Five to go. It's Hogard. Step back against Williams. Four three. Another new dynamic. He's just been so up and down scoring the basketball. The assists have been there. You look at his last four numbers, you know, 4, 15, 0, and 14. It's been hit or miss scoring, but that's a great sign to see him make that three. And if you're trying to post a guy like Zach Eady, he's not going to be able to move him. How about that? Thing? Wow, great play by Walker, who had Eady bearing down on him to screen him. He dodged that. Razem Lorbeck. <laughs> some big dude to go get some rebounds. He dong Ebok. Yeah, that's a good one too. Here he goes. It's Sissoko oh, this time. I got a face full. Look at how deep he got. Hogard. Late shot clock. This is Christie, the freshman from the Chicago suburbs. Two scores. Coach who grew up loving sports in part because of the big red machine. Look out. Brown. sucks it home. I went back and looked to see when the last Gabe Brown back cut was because he hasn't gotten all the back cuts and when you're guarding him in the corner you've got to have an idea that he wants to back cut you 
Sasha Stefanovic gets caught watching the basketball. And all of a sudden, Gabe Brown's putting it on a poster. Isn't it amazing what one shot going down it's, early? It changes the a little bit in that Illinois Ohio State game. <laughs> there, there was yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Understatement of the day. I uh, got to rotate to him. Resting another three for Michigan State. That's the first time we've seen Purdue really break down where that post trap has come and nobody rotates over to Max Christie. The end zone is fierce today. This is rolled out of bounds and another unforced Purdue turnover. Hit by Max Christie. They're taking a look at him very quickly and now we're off and running again I'd be on the gas pedal goodness can he turn the corner he's like an over oh really once Michigan Great State play. by four now two first on the back end somehow with Michigan State playing so well in the first 17 minutes or so Purdue is within two good defense by AJ Bogart didn't get the idea away from that right hand and just took his ball and then took it all the way to the rack. Clearly read the scouting report. Ivy wants to get to that right hand. Not to say he can't go left, but he's much better going right. Stays in the play. Excellent hands. Changes directions. Gets all the way to the basket. In that possession. Michigan State coughed up 86 points on Tuesday. The defense has been so much better. Look at how much time that is. Time and space. I mean, the whole side of the floor is totally cleared out for him. No double coming. He knows he can get to his strong suit. Zach Eady has been awesome with 13 this afternoon so far. Hauser rips it for three. It's all made, though, by Gabe Brown. He's... Marvel the screen for Hogarth. Back to Marvel. Into Eady. 2,000 wins combined as they get together at the Carrier Dome in Onondaga County today. There's the lob, and it's Edie on the flush. Off we go. If Purdue wins out, the Boilermakers are Big Ten champions 2022. Edie on the backside got two more. And that guy is not Tyson Walker. <laughs> I was ready for both. Edie the screen. Ivy got fleeced. Bingham got the hand in. And now the race is on with Hogard. And he scored. Multiple times, by the way, he was talking about the Breslin Center yesterday at Purdue practice. He was talking about getting a recruiting visit here when it was just dirt. Breslin Center didn't even exist. Up ahead. Transition again for Hogard and Michigan State. That's a couple possessions. That was not a great possession for Michigan State there. Walker had to heave up a late shot clock three, and it leads to Ivy in the open court for two and a foul. First with Hauser. Now Williams against Bingham. First with the double. Step through. That trap really bothered him now. Purdue has got to come up with that loose ball, and Hauser's got to get a shot up. And he scores! That's the basketball gods right there. A.J. Hogard. Such a great visual path of the court. His vision is exceptional. And there. See if Ivy can get untracked here. Little stutter step. Hogarth's right there with him, shoulder to shoulder. Ivy against Hogard, and he rolled it in. And Michigan State's just built to your point about Thompson seeing that pass. He didn't intercept, but they get the turnover anyway. Williams clanging off a marble to score. Travion Williams. That's that count. Delivery men, Walker and Hogard are playing well. Michigan State is really tough to beat. Marble. That's his oh, deal. no. I mean, he has been the long two king. But look at where he got Trevion Williams. I mean, he buried him in that charge orange and offensively today. Marble. He's, he's got by Williams. Early. Yes, it's he all did. about the job he's doing before he catches the ball. I mean, that's back-to-back -back possessions where Julius Marble has just broken the second half. Can they close from the power position this afternoon? Walker deterred by Edie. Ivy came out and got beat to the rim by Christie. Boy, you just got to be. Thompson and Hunter both cut up top. 
This is Hunter with seven. He got to the same spot and scored again. And it's not done for another eight minutes, too. I mean, he could he could spark a rally. Well, Eric Hunter's making plays out here. Edie got it for two and a foul as he snuck behind from Hunter. And Eric Hunter's gotten two layups, and now Purdue has made seven of their last nine field goals. This pass is phenomenal. I think if you're Gabe Brown. Ivy nearly got the steal. He's got to watch Christie, though. Thing of the screen, Hunter went around it, and so did Christie. Edie came over, and now Ethan Morton and Purdue on the flip trip. He finds Ivy for Edie, and he can't score. Christie leaks out, and Christie got a stop. The resistance by Bingham saves a bucket. Now you get off. Morton pops it into the post. Bingham against Edie again. One on one. Help from Christie didn't do anything, and Edie got Gillis maybe declined after the miss on the last possession. Pretty good transition defense, so they were able to get out and give him something to think about. Edie in slow motion, but Syrian. <laughs> Both these teams fortunate to have such a home environment that they do. 15,000 of the brim here. Oh, no way! Bingham reached by five. Ivy from Williams. Travion Williams has paid. Yes, it was, and he put it in. Totally got money, stayed vertical. What do you want here from Purdue? I would assume it's going to be Jaden Ivey getting downhill. Tough catch for Travion Williams. He's going to back in. Williams rolled it down. I and mean, that was really well. Hunter went with Bingham for a moment, then faded back to Hogarth. A.J. Hogarth piercing the lane, and he scores! And a foul! Purdue within three has the ball and one shot away, although they've only made one three all game for the second best shooting team in the country. That's a goal. That's a goal tend. And there's frustration for Bingham because he knew, he knew what he had done just as he, he just gets totally picked off. And it's one of those things where that had just hit the backboard and he takes it right off. It's a good call. It even looked like. Everyone standing. Ivy down the lane got affected by the defense, and this will go immediately to no timeouts for the Boilermakers. They do get it in. It is Ivy roving from the corner, dumps it away. Williams left it short. His follow swirls down. Boy, what a play by Jaden Ivy to get that basketball. Over to Travion Williams and A.J. Hogard coming up a little limp here. Boy, he, he's played so well today. He's grabbing at that calf. And this is a heck of a play and an even better decision. He just gets right downhill and Travion Williams misses the first one but stays right with it and barely gets the second one to go. 16.1. Walker will go claim it. Hogard still on the bench. Down to six seconds. Walker under four. Walker fires. He got it! Fifteen thousand standing. Travion Williams to launch. Oh wow! And that is just about that. This is a rocket of a pass, and it just goes right through the hands. Now it's tough because. You got Jaden Ivey. He's trying to feel that sideline out, and that had some heat on it. What a win for Michigan State this this would be. And I, point four to go. You just got to get it in bounds. Oh, and maybe they don't. This is going to end up out of bounds. This is out of bounds. Larry Scarato, I believe, says this will be. Why did he throw it ball. that way? I mean, if this is out of bounds, untouched. 
0.4 to go. You got to watch Sasha Stefanovic. He's got the release to get this off in 0.4 seconds. Oh, wow. And it hits Malik Hall to end the ball game. Eventually, Michigan State takes down Purdue.